buzz, buzz, like that busy? Are you drinking? Are you drinking the game? No. You, you no. Might like, no. <laughs> but I'd like to twerk on that floor. I know the topic is how to get closer to your clients. Uh, I don't like the topic. But I want to know how to not get closer with your coworkers, <laughs> AKA Yuzis. Tracy. Already been done. Are we, are we, the, the, chair, the chairs are further apart, actually. They are. Jorge told us that he separated, he like broke something and then he had to try to fix it and in trying to fix, um, he separated our chairs, which both Tracy and I were relieved. Yeah, we're, so, we're okay with it. How to get further apart with your coworkers. That should be the topic of the next Biz Talk episode. I like it. I like it too. Anywho, um, how to get closer to your clients I don't like this. I don't I, like that subject. Wait a second. This is an important subject, yo. The way we're wording it, I don't like. Tracy, you have to be able to get closer to your to your. Client. I don't want to be closer to my clients. Okay. <laughs> How about this? I'm not saying that meanly, but I have to explain. Okay. I know what you mean. Is that word meanly? Ex- first of is, all- Is it, meanly a word? Whatever. It's a word now. <laughs> we don't care. It's a word now. Meanly. Um, okay. Explain yourself. Okay. So I don't want a close relationship with my clients. I don't want a friendship. Nothing against anybody. I just, you know, it's work for me. And I have a separation when it comes to that. And then I go home to my family and that's what I want to do. And I I have my friends and that's what I want to do. And when you become close to clients, there can be some awkwardness that happens and some things that aren't good. So I've always had, you know, this is, this is the line. However, you need to be friendly and you need to have a common ground with your clients. Well, personable. You've got to be personable exactly. too. Exactly. Right? So closer to me sounds like, oh, we got to get closer. Let's go out and drinks and, and well, have a friendship. And you have a different baseline though. Yeah. Right? I guess so. So I'm talking about, so I, this is great. This is great. This because, is why I don't like the way it was worded. Right, right. No, I got you. I like the way it's worded. Of course you do. Because Jorge came up with the topic. And and probably why I don't like it either. <laughs> Let's go, Jorge. Um, so I think this is great because now we're setting a boundary for sort of beginning and end, right? Like where should that relationship be? For people that are like hardcore introverts, mm-hmm. they don't know, <laughs> they can't even get to that, um, mm-hmm. that, that, that first place of like being personable or, and not because they don't want to, they don't know how, or they struggle with like creating a relationship. This is a service business, right? It is. Like your clients are going to talk and you can't do this, right? Head down. Headset. Headset. Like, hey, hey, right on, come in. This is not like doing a tattoo, right? Where like they have to be ultra, ultra, like you're not talking over the, you don't want your tattoo artist talking. With their hands. So anyway, I went... (laughs) Oops, sorry. This little Satan on your, you know, I know you didn't want that, but there's a big butt cheek on your, you know, arm now. Whoops. <laughs> it's a little weird. But but obviously with with nails, you can talk and work. Yeah. You don't want to just be head down not not you talking. You have to find a common ground and, and uh, you know, and if you don't. Now, I've had it where I couldn't find a common ground with one client in particular. I just couldn't. We had no, absolutely no connection. So, how, okay, wait, explain this first. Okay. When you say common ground, like, like, give me an example. Something what do you, what to do talk you mean? about. Something, a connection. Uh, Habib comes in and he's, you know, talking about his children. I, I have a child. I have a common ground with you. I can, Got or it. even if I don't have a child, I can talk about it. I can listen. I can, I can add, we, we can find something to talk about. And you know whatever yeah. that is, there there's something there to kind of oh to work off of each other and have a right. little conversation. Gotcha, gotcha. I go to my hairdresser. We talk about documentaries the whole time. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's just our little common ground. That's, and that's and cool. she's an introvert and I'm an introvert. We both really we both talk about how we don't like to talk, but we and we're quiet part of the time. Yeah. And then we talk about documentary. There's a common ground. Yeah. Um. You know. So. There's always something. And this one client, it zero wasn't there. And she was nice. She was sweet. It was a younger girl. I wasn't that old back then. But I mean, I was probably maybe early 30s. She was probably early 20s. And we had zero. And I know she quit coming to me for it. Wait, did she just give you like one? You would try to talk like, oh, my God, how how was your weekend? Good. 
Yeah, but it, it wasn't one of those where you, oh, this person just doesn't like to talk. You just, it just, there was no chemistry. I get chemistry. Yeah. I, you chemistry. Know, chemistry. That's there, really there, good. There's always a little chemistry. There's something to spark off of. There's something yeah. to work off of. And there was, and I, <laughs> and probably because I could never, this is how bad it was. I could never remember her name. Really? She would walk in. This is the only person I've ever done this. She would walk in and I would always go, hey, hi, how are you? Who are you here for? Oh my God. <laughs> you could... That little of a connection. Oh, wow. That's crazy. I never had had that before, but it just was one this one person. You, I remember. you could not remember. Yep. And just because I personally, and then talking off of that, I mean, she was a nice person. Now I've had people that I really didn't like as a person. Yeah. You know, but I always found common ground. I didn't, they didn't know. I didn't really care for their personality yeah. or them as a person, but we had enough to talk about in the day and whatever, but that, she was just never could even remember who yeah. she was. That's, That's horrible. So funny. No, but, but that, that right there shows and proves like when there's no connection at all, that can happen. And she, know? she quit coming to me and I know it was for that Probably that very reason if no chemistry, couldn't even remember who she was. Yeah. And yeah. So yeah. You got to find a common ground or that's going to happen with everybody. Yeah. I think, I think also like finding a common ground and you said something that was really interesting. You don't in business, I think this is really important. You don't liking the person should not be a requirement to do business with them. It really should. Does right. it make it easier? Of course it does. But I mean, in the past, you know, we used to have a massive distribution network, right? right. It, it's obviously our business has changed. It's, it's way more direct now um, with our customers. But in the past, we had massive, massive distribution network all over the world. And there were probably a handful of distributors that I did not like. Yeah. But it didn't matter. They would. They never knew that. Yeah. I was still. I would find common ground. I was always polite. I tried to still business wise. I'm going to treat everybody the same and keep it equal. Um, whatever rules and procedures that we had, it was the same for everybody. But um, I would still be polite, nice, cordial. Go out to dinner with them. Go out to dinner with them. Hundred percent. Have a conversation, and that's. What we're talking about. That's what we're it's talking being about. being able to have. There are clients yes. that I had that I did not necessarily like their lifestyle or, you know, I just, we just didn't talk about it. I just yeah. worked around those things that I wasn't comfortable talking to them about and found something to talk about and get through the hour. Right. And that's what you do. And you're nice and you're respectful and, and, um, and make your money. Yeah. I think like. If you struggle with having conversation, th this is going to sound crazy, but this is what I would do. I would, I think like anything else, if you're not good at something, you have to practice. You have to practice it. How do you practice having conversations? Dude, when you're out and about on the street in in grocery stores or you're 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 checking out at the whether you're in front of a bank teller or you're at the grocery store checking out practice even it's if it's small, for 10 small seconds conversation. small conversations yeah. i would fully practice that and also again now we have we've got all these amazing resources online i would go on youtube yeah and how to be good at, you know, uh, having conversation with people, how to improve, um, uh, my, you know, in, I'm in the service industry. I would type all this in Google. I swear to God, I would do it. Like how to improve my ability to communicate with people, you know, in business, dude, and so the, much. I think what you, cause I wasn't a huge talker personally. Um, the girls in the salon were just more than entertaining. So half of the time my client was watching them, but you also, you don't have to have an intense conversation. Correct. This doesn't need to, you can also work on, this is <clears throat> what I did. Habib comes in. I know Habib's kids are in sports. Hey, Habib, how has your week been? How's it been work? Good. Hey, what's going on with the sports? What, what did the kids do this week? And yeah. Habib is going to ramble for the next. I would love that. 30 minutes. <clears throat> yes. And I'm going to be like, that's great. Do, I don't, let's say I don't have children. 
I don't like children. <laughs> I don't like sports. Right. It could be any of these things. I don't like Habib. Uh, <laughs> whatever it is. But you've shown interest in their life and given them a topic of conversation that keeps you working and going, wow. Mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. so good, Oh, Trace. wow. That's, geez, that's busy. And, and you just keep feeding a little bit off of, he'll say something like, yeah, and then I had to go to work. Well, how's work been? It's, it was, has it been a crazy week? Off to the rest as he is. So good. I think that is the strategy that you need to, you ask them about them. them. Ask them about them and get into specifics. You know, I mean, not obviously you don't want to go down the road of like crazy, crazy, but. So what's politics looking like? <laughs> what religion are you? <laughs> I don't like that religion. I don't. <laughs> You're a Republican. I'm a Democrat. I'm against only your religion. <laughs> I don't like that religion. Get out of my. Obviously, you don't want to go no. down that road. But asking very somebody about themselves, very surface. I, I, and, you know? I don't want to be superficial in, in a positive way. It's it's keeping the conversation light. But but still like friendly. You're asking them a bit. Like if you asked me, right? Like. Actually, let's let's do a little scenario, oh, Tracy. Yeah. I love this. Okay. But I'm going to be the nail tech. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, I'm the nail tech and this time you're on the other side of it, right? Sit down. How was your weekend, Trace? It was great. It was busy. Busy, busy. Busy, busy. We're a little busy little bee buzz buzz buzz. I wouldn't okay, do that. I'm done I wouldn't with do that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your dollar tip. I'm out. Buzz, buzz, like that. Busy. It just starts floating around the room. Like what? I'm going in circles. What's going on? What is he on? <laughs> That'll be one hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah. Um, honestly, I'd be like, I'd be like, amazing. What? What why, did you? What why did you? Was it busy? Why was it busy? What did you do? And I, well, you know, I I, I had, uh, you know, we have kids, so I, there was a baseball game. We had uh, soccer practice. We had this. Oh my gosh. And who plays soccer? Who plays baseball? Yeah. Like which one of the kids who does what? Exactly. Like, are, like are you, start. Are you helping coaching? You're like, yes. or do, you, do you actually, do you drink at the game? Yeah, I mean, little things like that. Are you drinking? Are you drinking at the game? And you know, just, tell me the truth. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you really like going to baseball games or you can be honest with me. Things like, yeah. things like that. Yes. But what's great about these questions is you can work and think of those questions very quickly. Yes. And be a little in your own little world at the same time. It's like you start, when 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 you ask somebody about themselves about their weekend or whatever they start going um and then you start pulling on different threads you're, right you're listening for keywords you're listening for keywords of what to ask next yeah and then you just ask a little more detail on that topic it's like you just keep going down you know this little rabbit hole um and then when they're done telling that story what do you have planned for this week yeah literally start with how was your week or how was your weekend what do you have planned for today what do you have planned for the week you know, right now, how's uh, work? How's work? Do, do you do you guys celebrate Easter? Did you have? Did you do Easter? Um, if the kids grab eggs. What like what do they get? Were they excited? All these like the ages of their kids, little key moments. You know, so and so's birthday or not. There's so many things that you can dig into to get the conversation started. Yep, and you can always make little notes. Habib has uh, two children. Um, names are da da da. And, and da 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 da, da and uh, I don't know why he named them the same name. Da da da. Uh, but you can make little notes if if you have a hard time remembering and you want to be able to have that conversation. Habib sits down and I go, "Hey, Habib, how's da da da?" Exactly. <laughs> da 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 is good, and da 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 is even better. And then off off, off we you go. go. And there's nothing like when when somebody, I mean, if, if if we sit down and you're like, people love to talk about themselves and. They want to tell you about it. And and even it helps them, even if they had kind of a challenging week, then they really want to talk about it. It helps them. It's like we always say this, like a little mini therapy session, right? They just talk and talk and talk. Yep. Um, you and just got to feed it a little. You got to feed it a yep. little. Now, this is, so let's get back to Tracy's original point here. You, you, you do this, use this strategy to build that rapport, mm -hmm. build that you know, relationship, but at some point you have to put a cap on it, here's, right? Here's my wall. Keep it professional. Keep it professional. Right. So I don't want to go have drinks with you later. Right. And, and, but we've heard, 
we've heard horror stories of like techs going grabbing drinks with their clients Mm -hmm. and then it you say something wrong they hold it against you yes you know it's just it it, yeah i've seen people lose clients because of it yeah it becomes very murky yeah if they start getting judgmental to the point of I don't know if I want to get my nails done by this person anymore because they're they're. I they're, saw Habib twerking on that floor. I don't know if I. <laughs> but I'd like to twerk on that no. floor. Or oh, the the tr- the true you starts to come out, right? Especially if you're having alcohol involved. Oh, a few drinks for sure. The true you, and they don't know the true you, right? So now you've said something about your personal opinion about something, and now you guys disagree, and now this yeah. is awkward. Yeah. This is very awkward. Or. We've, we've, we start, well, I've went out to drinks with you. We had lunch. We did this. Do I get a discount? Do I get a discount? Right. Where's that friend discount? Right. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Friend discounts in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, if, if I think back to like a lot of our relationships with distributors, um, we, we got close with a lot of our distributors, but everybody it was so clear was yeah. it not tracy it was oh, yeah. very clear was that business habib. business habib that was like literally what they would call me because you know i can i pay my bill a little bit later no you're like here let me get you another drink habib now can i pay it Dude, later and yes. he's all no 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 you can't stop it it was always no though he said he could remember that stop it i would always say no um but i they knew that I would always yeah. keep the business part. Like we can laugh, we can joke, we can have drinks, um, we can have a great time. Uh, you know, I've even spent with some distributors in Europe. I mean, I spent an insane amount of time with them and their families, yeah. and I would hang with them. And but that, but came, that just so we're sure. clear, that was part of that's the part business. of this business yeah not part of being an nail tech. absolutely big difference yeah. big difference my only the only thing I, i'm i'm stressing is even though it was part of our business that the whole you know take them out and hang with like you know doing that was part of the business and even though we i got close to a lot of these distributors i always had that line that you were yeah. talking about tracy of this is business mm-hmm. and we will keep it business if you owe us money you owe us money here are the prices this is what you're getting charged no you cannot have the additional discounts we had and they would ask me and my answer to them was always the same I would say here's the thing I can't give you that discount but let me explain to you why okay so you're it's not just like a no I'm not giving it to you I have to keep young nails healthy and strong for you and for everybody else involved in the company if I start giving you a discount and them a discount, everybody discount. Now our margins shrink and now the business starts to struggle at some point. It's a slippery slope. And is that seriously, is that what you want? And always they'd be like, all good. Don't worry yep. about it. Let's keep the business strong. Never hurts to you know? ask. Yeah, of course. Never hurts <laughs> to ask. But I would, I was very, very clear and it was the truth and it should be the truth. You know, if, yep. if you, if you build that rapport with your client, they're like, can you give me a little discount this time? You could be like, you know, I understand you're asking, but here's the deal. Like I keep it the same for everybody. It's got to be fair. You know, I'm, I am running a business and I always want to make sure that I stay in business so that I can always take care of your nails. <laughs> I won't be doing your nails if I'm not in business. I won't be doing nails. Exactly. Yeah. So let's keep it there. I love it. Great point. Let us know in the comments below. If you have any other thoughts on this topic, we would love to hear about it. Tracy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining and we will see you next time on the Biz Talk. Subscribe channel now. Sub-